So at this point, you should have done Control R, right? So that that does is give us our rulers, um, and we are going to make sure we're working in the Essentials Classic uh, workspace. Um, we're going to go to our ruler. We are going to click and pull down. That is going to give us a guideline. That guideline is going to be used uh, to create our waves and our straight lines in our document. Here's a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is click once on the guideline. I clicked, let go of my mouse. Both hands are free. I'm going to move over an inch or so, click again. Both my hands are free from the mouse. I'm going to put a little color in here so you can see it real quick. The next step, you can see I've got my rubber band. It's going to tell me where I can click next if I want. But in order to create a curve, I need to have a pre-tensioned segment. To do that, I need to pull out a handle from this anchor point that I've created. So if I zoom in, here's my anchor point. It's right there. And if I hold the Alt key, look what happens to my cursor. I'm pressing Alt right now. It switches over to the anchor point tool. I'm going to click on the anchor point, and I'm going to pull out while holding Alt and Shift. It has created a straight directional handle for me. I now have preloaded the first half of the segment. And to get the second half of the segment done, I'm going to go back to the guideline. I'm going to click and pull down and hold shift at the same time, trying to get those in about the same height. So I've just created the first part of my segment. You can see that this line here, this directional handle, is providing the tension and curve for the first half. The second half is being done by this. And if I come over here, you can see I have a directional handle that goes down. That's providing curve for the next segment. I'm going to click and pull up and hold shift at the same time. I've just created that piece. There is two different ways to end the directional handle. I could come in and I can get the alt tool. I can click. So if we zoom in real quick. If I hold Alt and click on the handle, I can drag down and put that handle right back onto the line. So I've created this new kind of special point, right? Up until now, we know there's a smooth point and we know there is a curved point. Smooth always had two handles that came off of it. Directionals are always in the parallel line with one another. Corner had none, had no handles available. Now I've got this third point, which is a smooth point but I've broken uh, the handles by holding Alt, and it's right there. The other option, instead of holding Alt, is to just come back to the point itself. You'll see your cursor changes to the uh, little adding of the anchor point tool. Click once. The handle's now gone. It's not there anymore. You just have the down one, and I can click on the line and continue on with everything. So I'm going to give the computer back to you, and you are going to try to do that process yourself. Again, it's click, click, hold Alt, drag a handle out, come over, click, shift, pull down, move over, click, shift, pull up, and then click back onto the anchor point, and then go to the right, and you just created yourself a wave. I'm going to give the computer back to you. Uh, I would like you to go ahead and try doing that.